Looks like an avalanche, like it's raining down on people, coming down to because somebody yelled loudly or they stomped on something and now it's coming to get them almost. Something that like explodes, just like you don't expect it to, and it just like explodes all in your face. I think it's kind of like a lot of things are just being thrown at you and then they just stay still in like midair and you're trying to juggle everything and you're like trying to avoid something that's um, that's gonna hit you. I think it's like when you're, you're in shock, so when you're in shock, everything just kinda stays still, and like you remember it really well. Things that I'm trying to juggle in my life are like sports, education, schoolwork, um, things that are gonna help me later on in my life. Like when somebody's playing a game of dodgeball, when somebody throws something at you, it just seems to move slower than it actually is when you're kinda preparing for the impact of it. It could be when you're like really happy in life and everything's going really great and you just want it to stay the same all the time. Like you don't want anything to change. A really good memory maybe because when you take a memory, everything's really clear. Everything stops right in front of you. I've had feelings like that in my life where I'm just like uh, so happy. Like I spend time with my family and I get to see everyone and I don't want anything to change. It reminds me of when you have a problem and it just seems like you're falling, but then someone catches you, like the strings holding the rocks, and they help you through the problem, like a friend. If the artist was here today and heard everything that this piece of artwork meant to you, then he would feel that his goal was accomplished, even though it might not tell the same story that he intended. It's telling a story for each of you. focusing solely on the water in front of me. Uncle Brian was giving a desperate attempt to spin me out of the wake of Grandpa's old motorboat. It was another terrific week up at Piedice, or that's what Grandpa called it. We spend a week every year at my grandparents' cabin, located on a tiny, on tiny Pia Lake way up in the You middle. described it so well that you didn't have to say, I was tubing on my Grandpa's boat, but you could say, you know, I zip past the loom bobbling lazy, lazily in the water, and. And being pulled by a motorboat, and you're not necessarily saying you're tubing, but anyone can know that you're tubing because of the way you described it so well, and that's good. I like, kind of liked its pace because it was going like kind of quickly, which makes you kind of feel like you're there because tubing can go very fast. You kind of make it more lively, and it feels like you're kind of there at the time, which makes it a good story and makes me want to read on. I guess I kind of had that feeling where I can kind of picture it 
which is yeah. a good thing because then you're painting with words. Maybe you shouldn't like be describing so much because you started off so well that you probably don't need the extra descriptions. Don't worry about where the cabin's located or what it's called. Just worry about where you are at that moment. If you're describing that you're tubing, then like finish it off with like how the tubing went or like when if you fell off or like the adrenaline rush or whatever, but don't worry about, well, this is where I was because then that's like branching off to a different story because then you talk about the cabin or something and what it's like, but you want to focus to the main point. Actually, the hardest part of writing for me is getting the idea because I really don't know what to write about sometimes, but then all of a sudden either it's like, what someone says or what someone does and I have the idea. It's always very difficult for me to end stories. The toughest part of writing is um, taking everything I have running through my head and um, writing it onto paper. And I thought today was really inspirational because when I looked at the art, you know, usually I can't think of anything to write even though I like it, but today, when I looked at that picture, it totally reminded me of something that I almost had forgotten about. The writing was awesome because we got to make new friends and um, use a really cool process and share everyone's writing tips. My favorite part of the day was probably being able to connect a memory that I had with something in a painting that somebody completely different had made and having that connection with it. Probably working on the stories and then being able to find out other people, other authors' feedback on it, not just fight feedback from yourself or a teacher or anything like that. Like you didn't have to think about anything else except writing. I thought that was really cool. Um, but right now, I pretty much have carpal tunnel from writing, and and realize that it's not a competition. You're not trying to write better than the people you're with. You're trying to work with the people to write better. Mm, my advice for students next year is, hmm to not be nervous and just take your time when you're writing stuff and believe that you can do it. And be open to meeting new people because I've made a lot of good friends here. Yeah, uh, uh, they should listen to the picture.